favorite bunch of beauties welcome back to the channel I had to pull out my Mally face defender because I am feeling a little shiny if you ever wanted to know if I still use stuff after I talked about it years ago I definitely still use this all right so welcome back to the channel and welcome to the 1950s this is my sort of attempt at a 1950s look when i was looking at my inspiration picture which is i'll show you sort of this picture right here um i did notice the winged liner her brows were kind of bold mine could have been bolder um we can make that happen and um she does have a bit of highlighter on which i don't know if they wore highlighter in the 50s but the classic red lip so this is my attempt at the 1950s look and this video is going to be a bit of a story time video as i try to darken my brows here <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a story time video um so a voiceover for sure and I am going to be telling you a little bit of the history of the looks in the 1950s and how it came to be. And I'll probably add a little bit of music to you, to it for you all. Something from the 1950s. But that's it. This is my look barely there eyeshadow for sure is what i um kind of saw for most of the pictures for the 1950s definitely a winged eyeliner and you will see how i cheated with my winged eyeliner and they are still not even i am still not good with the winged eyeliner but um i did go back after the video and sort of diffused these under eye the under the eyeliner or the the shadow up under my eyes because it looked a little bit more 1960s and 1950s um and i did what else did i do afterwards i think i put my highlighter on after so i didn't put highlighter on in the video but the highlighter is from my hourglass palette here from 19 1922 <laughs> And I used the highlighter also as like an inner corner highlight because I felt like I needed a bit of a highlight. So if you all want to see how I got this 1950s look, please continue to watch. Bye. In the 1950s, beneath the glow of post-war prosperity, a cultural renaissance blossomed painting the world in hues of optimism and elegance. This was the era that witnessed the birth of modern beauty as we know it, an epoch where the silver screen dictated the desires and dreams of the everyday woman. Imagine a world stepping out from the shadows of conflict, eager to embrace color, luxury, and femininity once again. The austerity of the 1940s was giving way to an era where women aspired to mimic the voluptuous silhouettes and immaculate appearances of silver screen sirens like Marilyn Monroe, Audrey Hepburn, and Elizabeth Taylor, and also Dorothy Dandridge. The story of beauty in the 1950s is one of contrast and contradiction. It is a tale of both conformity and rebellion of traditional roles and emerging independence. The quintessential 50s woman was presented to the world as a paragon of domesticity, yet she wielded her lipstick like a sword, carving out a new identity in the rosy shades of her makeup palette. The canvas of the face was primed with a flawless complexion. Powders and foundations were applied to create a matte, porcelain-like finish that was at once ethereal and statuesque. Eyebrows were sculpted into dramatic arches, the frames of a masterpiece that was the face. Eyelids were washed in pastel shades, and the art of the cat eye was mastered with a flick of liquid eyeliner, 
a bold statement of sophistication. On the streets, the cheeks of women bloomed like roses in an English garden, a rouge carefully blended to emulate a natural flush. And then, the piece de resistance, lips painted in vibrant shades of red and pink, a defiant pout that spoke of a woman's allure and her autonomy. Her hair was quaffed into soft curls and waves, often short to medium in length, with styles like bouffant and the beehive emerging as crowning glories that defied gravity and convention. Women frequented salons religiously, basking in the camaraderie and ritual of transformation that took place within those hollow walls. Fashion, too, was an essential character in this tale of beauty. The hourglass silhouette reigned supreme. Cinched waists and voluminous skirts sculpted the female form into a vision of idealized femininity. Dior's new look, with its emphasis on luxury and opulence, set the tone for a decade that saw women embracing their curves and reveling in the sensuality of fabrics that whispered against their skin. Yet, in the wings of this narrative, a counterstory was unfolding. Younger women, influenced by the burgeoning rock and roll movement and figures like James Dean and Elvis Presley, began to flirt with rebellion, laying the groundwork for the cultural revolution that would explode in the 1960s. As the decade waned, the seeds of change were sown in the very heart of the beauty industry. While the 1950s may have been a golden age of glamour, it was also the prologue to the story of liberation, one that would challenge and redefine the concept of beauty in the decades to come. And so, the story of beauty in the 1950s closes, not with an ending, but with an ellipsis, a promise of the transformation and reinvention that lay just beyond the horizon. Thank you.